Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Allen going to look to throw on the first play. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Christian Wilkins able to get him for a loss of about three. How about the defense there trying to set the tone on the very first play of the game? Yeah, there's a little bit of a glow here tonight because they brought the heat right out of the gate. What a good job establishing the tone for this one. On second down, here's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And again, it's Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cook. And he is going to have a Bills first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. They forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Allen now on first down. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now a guy who played his high school ball at Miami Central, it's James Cook. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 43, here's a second and seven. Here's Allen to throw it. Has his man, it's Shakir. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here now, second and four. Here's Hallett. Shakir holds it in. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. First down, here's the run with Cook. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. 
Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Here's second and three. Throwing now is Allen. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's going to be incomplete. To well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Second and 10. First carry for Raheem Mostert, and he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C in completion on first down, and you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Here comes third down at seven. Throwing now is Chunga Bailoa. He rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. The best starting field position you could possibly have. First and goal from the one. Cook is in. Touchdown, Bills. Sometimes offense, if you get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. To his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one the man throwing the ball, and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it, and this one will be brought back to the 22. So after the INT, it's Allen working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 17, here's second and four. They run the counter with Cook. 
And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bills with a football as we start quarter number two. They need two. Here's third down. As they've got it as we resume action. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. Cook. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Well, the spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And now they'll throw with Allen. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit, like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Two are going to throw. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Off of play action, tongue of Iloa. Open man downfield is Hill. Down the sideline he goes. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 66 yards. And the Dolphins are back within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over, 
This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On the tackle there, Zach Sealer out of Ferris State. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. On second down, Cook. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 48 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds, saved him from a turnover. Allen looks to throw on second down. Pass complete to Shakir along the sideline. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Allen going to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Big Raekwon Davis, the man fighting in for that sack. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. 
So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Tua wants to throw it on second down. They'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then, but they're showing signs of life here, and they get good yardage that time and a first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And this is something you don't see too much of. Fullbacks trying to stretch the field. But he does a nice job there getting lost out in space and comes up with a really nice game. From midfield, here's Tua. That one complete to Hill. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second down and three. Here's Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 30. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. He'll dump this off to A-Chan. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. 
From the gun, it's Tua. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Sanders' kick is good. And they're back within a touchdown at 17-10. to 10. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. A final shot before half for Allen. Allen, nifty footwork. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. And he returns this to the 22. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. And this offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. At this point in the game, and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps, and soon. Here's second and ten. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Throw left side complete. That's Hill. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And it'll be fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. 
So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Allen and the Bills now with a first and ten at their own 27. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, the left side caught by Diggs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. A give to Cook out of the gun. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. 71 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? They run it again with Cook, and just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Third and three. Play action. Now it's Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 34-yard line. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. On oh, the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me, it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Allen again here on second and ten. Pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. It's a loss of a yard, so they'll wind up crediting him with a sack, and it brings up third down. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Got a man. That's Trent Sherfield. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal. He hit his first. Now this from 43. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that can all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. 
They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Dolphins offense returning to the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Tua. It got his man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 36 yards. Hey, you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. Meanwhile, Tua's throw is taken in by Waddle. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and three. And he completes it to Barrios. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards on the play. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Here's Mostert. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Tua sets up to pass it. They set up the screen. A-chan has it. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Sanders' kick is good. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20-13. to 13. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway.
after the field goal. Here comes Sanders to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game. And on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the pulse right now? It might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball. But here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. They've got to get back to that, and that means opening things up again, being a little more free in what they're trying to get done on offense. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and seven. Allen. And complete right side to Cook. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately they dropped the defensive end out and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50 maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer throwing on first down is Allen they shakes him up and he's gonna lose a yard or two taken down behind the line Multiple players getting home for the one-yard sack. Like the footwork back there, and I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. To the air, Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 37. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Allen's throw is complete. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. Now Allen. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Dancing to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Now that's a killer because you think you get it absolutely covered. And then he hot foots it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third and then the tables turn. Here's Allen on first and ten. A yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. So five yards here. Five on the play. And it'll be second down. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. At the Dolphins' seven-yard line. Now a give running right. It's Cook. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Yeah, 
Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Here's Allen to throw it. And this is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. For it. Cook. So the decision to go for it turns out to be a good one. They get a couple of yards, and as a result, the drive keeps moving. It's now first and goal. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between play. And Cook will get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. A great play there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Bills have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line, and here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Miami set to take over. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Tyreek Hill's got a net as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. Tua. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Here's Tua. Wide open receiver complete. And he's got this down to the 35. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now. And that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming. And they pick up another first down. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Tua. That'll be caught by Hill. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. 
They'll come up first and ten here. Now Tua. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Here's first and goal. Here's Tua. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, extra point up and good by Sanders. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And this is going to be recovered by the Bills, and that should all but do it. The well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical the Bills offense coming out ready to take over and this one all over but the shouting you might say now there's one timeout remaining defensively but probably no real need to use it here yeah the only time they would use it strictly for pride the bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee now the dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game just about do it yeah it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd but when you go on the road that band of brothers attitude right just us against the world and get it done <laughs> how happy are they i remember a coach at a previous stop telling me you get a win on the road doesn't matter the opponent get out of there like you stole something and they, <laughs> they did in this one here's the punter martin out to kick it away and this one will sail out of bounds it'll depend on the spot here and I, what a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield.